The Teleklin, rightfully so, is one of the most famous railways in the world. Not only being the first preserved railway to ever exist, but also largely inspiring the Skarloey Railway, with most of its engines being immortalized through such. If not straight up existing in the railway series, they definitely inspired the ongoing characters, like Tally Klin with Skarloey or Edward Thomas with Peter Sam. If you know anything about the Tally Klin, however, it's not just a steam railway. There is Midlander, who inspired Rusty. More recently, there's St. Cadfin and Traquin. You can't talk about the diesels of the Tally Klin without mentioning the leader of the pack, however. The engine who never rests, Alf. Now, Alf gains a lot of attention on the Tally Klin, and understandably so, it's definitely a strange locomotive, but one that has a charm to it. He even has his own fan base, which I am a part of, that's why I'm modeling him. It's Alf! Wait! Hello, Alf! In fact, the way most people even define ALF is through how well he performs. When referring to ALF, the three most common words that follow are is running well. And since his arrival, he's proved a critical part in the Tally Klin workforce. With all of the excitement around him, it's only right Audrey would make him a character too. And to be fair, he did, we just unfortunately never saw it. If you read the title, you likely know I'm referring to Fred. An original Audrey character created in the Railway series, just one we would never really hear about, even though he does have a lot of created history. And there is a pretty simple reason for this. Sadly, there just wasn't enough time, as Audrey would pass in 1997, likely not long after Fred's creation. There simply and sadly wasn't enough time to make stories with him, and really flush him out like he did with the others. We sadly wouldn't even get an illustration of Fred. All we really know is he's inspired from ALF. So continuing, we'll use pictures of ALF. And with all of that being said, dive into what we do know about the character we never saw. Hopefully tapping into that vision Audrey clearly had, but sadly didn't have the chance to build on. So let's go ahead and jump straight into it, starting with the basis. Now, from what we can tell, Fred is pretty much just Alf. So he shares the 040 configuration, a max speed of 9 miles per hour, and just like Alf was made in 1950, both out of parts from other diesel engines. Now, since Fred was never illustrated, we don't know his exact livery, but it is assumed he shares the same one as Railway Series Rusty, a charcoal black with yellow lining. Very little is known of the personality of Fred, bar for the fact he's pretty lazy. We get this from Rusty when we find out Fred backed out of a yearly weed killer train, basically leaving Rusty with his job, but he did claim he was feeling ill. This also is literally the only mention of Fred in any story. So sadly, we kinda have to draw these conclusions ourselves. I personally relate him to Dennis, but thankfully we do know a bit more about his biography. Fred would come about in the 1980s, right after the Scarlowy brought two worn out Hunslet diesels from the National Coal Board. Fred was built using parts from both engines. A lot like Alf! And was put into service in 1989 as a secondary diesel to Rusty. That aside, however, he is exclusively on engineering and maintenance work. He is credited with being built by Ivo Hugh, however, at the Crobensgate Works. His only story appearance was in 1976 in Famous Engines, and his last appearance ever was in Sodor Reading Between the Lines in 2005. Even calling them appearances is kinda pushing it, they're more mentions. Even still, I can't help but find myself fascinated, and can't help but wonder how stories maybe would change with his inclusion, or what stories would come after such. Sadly, however, we'll never know. But if Alf is anything to go on and setting the example, I'm sure he serves the Scarloey quite well, just like Alf would do in his.